All right. Hey, everyone. Matt from soundrolling.com. I've got my sound device at 688 here, and I've also got the timecode systems wave. And uh, just wanted to show you how you can sync these up um, in case it's not very clear at the start. Uh, so I've got a five pin Limo plugged in on the TC output or input. It works as kind of both. Um, then I've got that plugged into my 688 here. Uh, you can see at the moment that the time codes are kind of different. So 1735 and we've got 1432 here. So we're actually going to go into and make sure we're in the right mode first, uh, which is that kind of um, free run external jam mode. So we're going to click in, you're going to go left twice to time code mode. And then we're going to just make sure that we're on the free run. There's other options like internal generated. So this is just whatever this baby generates. Um, and then there's external time code from a TX, uh, like the UltraSync one. And then um, I don't know what TXC is yet. Uh, I haven't got that far. And RX slave is to actually make this a slave to something else like this. Um, so yeah, exit. So we're going to make sure that we're on free run jam. And then to make sure that we're jammed up, we're going to press in. We're going to press in again, and we're going to press in again. Three presses. And now it's jamming. So you can see that it's already changed. And now it's just making sure that it is rock solid. And then it will give you the green light kind of to go ahead by saying time code jammed. So now these are exactly the same. And because I'm on the Blink Hub network of the right channel, uh, if you haven't seen any other video, then my UltraSync has also changed uh, to the right time as well. So. That should give you a nice overview of how to jam both your recorder to your wave and to your ultra sync as well. Any other comments, let me know in the comments down below. And otherwise, I will see you later.